Hello everybody and welcome to Portal 1. I definitely didn't have to restart the game. But yeah, th that animation just there, that, that was ripped straight from how that he was closed. Your business is appreciated. What? <laughs> Your business is appreciated. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. I did play a tiny bit of um portal two on PS3, but I'm not very good. So this probably won't be a huge <laughs> Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Someone speedrun it. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 MW Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. Oh god, actually, th this is already super trippy. What? 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 How did I. What's this? Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you. This device has similar use. Similar use. Like, it's a good thing. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Well 
Island. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. Get to sprint at some point. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. Required test protocol. We will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, Yeah, no, the truth is left for, um, Portal 2, which I will probably talk about. Ah, uh, yeah, n now this thing actually is just straight up. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Like Val 
all these games. They're really good. I I am going on a roller coaster. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. A consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck! Come on, I crouched! Consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck! <laughs> Consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark. Consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark. Consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck! Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. <laughs> Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. <laughs> Make no attempt to solve it. Yeah, we'll see about that. Wait, can you just go? Hmm. Strange. 
the Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. Once again, the Enrichment Center offers its most sincere apologies on the occasion of this unsolvable test environment. Well, if I can... Are you kidding me? Is that... Frankly, this chamber was a mistake. If we were you, we would quit now. No one will blame you for giving up. In fact, quitting at this point is a perfectly reasonable response. <laughs> Quit now and today will be so immediately. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. I was... I thought that was more harder than it actually was. But I mean, I, I, I didn't have to look up how to do it, so I'm still happy with myself. But it is at the beginning of a portal game, you just get, um... You got to get a lot of people watching and you think, oh, I'm pretty good at this. But then, nope. Okay, well, um, I think that's gonna do it for this recording, and I mean, I, I've got to, I've got to be honest with you, I will just keep playing a bunch of it off camera, but I will, I think I might play some on camera, hopefully, but yep, um, I hope you like the video, and actually like it, and I will see you in the next video, bye-bye.